Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to bring you in the Hive East. So this is the stage two Hive, so to speak. And this is for a level 150 plus RP. Uh, this place is pretty fun. It's going to get you some nice beast cherries. And it's actually one of the very few places around level 150 where you're actually going to be getting pretty good profit. So the main draw of this place, in my opinion, is the profit. Let's take a look at some of the results. Uh, the experience you can get is somewhere around 1.5 kk raw up to about 1.1 kk raw which is about 1.6 kk on 150 percent and as you can see in the profit it's it's really damn good for a level 150 paladin and you, you're looking at about 300 to 450k profit an hour uh, which is really great considering this level range is really expensive for a paladin due to the cost of diamond arrows a uh, majority of this profit will be coming from uh, imbuement items and mostly it will be the crawler head platings i hope i got the name right uh, it's the item that drops from crawlers used for imbuement uh, on my server they're worth like six seven k i think and that's where the profit comes from a lot of them drop here so make sure to have them on market value and enjoy the profit um, difficulty, I give it a 3 out of 10, it's, it's really not that difficult, but sometimes these monsters can hurt, so do, do, do be careful, uh, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. And the beast jerry that you can get here is, takes you about 3 hours for basically crawlers, wasp points and spitters, so I do recommend hunting here for 3 hours, getting those unlocked, 75 points, it's uh, pretty nice. Requirements level 150 plus, uh, hive stage 2, so this is, this is maybe the most annoying part of it, that your world needs to be on stage 2 or stage 3 hive for this place to be unlocked. If nobody on your server do ever does any hive tasks, this might be the problematic part. You can always check out on the, um, the guide in any of the towns which has guides. Uh, but in general, I think stage 2 is open relatively often, so you should be able to get this spot uh, relatively often. And this place can effectively be hunted by knights, paladins and duos. Uh, probably not full team hunt as there's not going to be enough respawn and it's going to be a little bit too tight. There's not quite enough room for four people, I think. Uh, Druid sorcerers, maybe, I think, maybe from level 200, once they have the familiar, it's going to be a little bit better. But overall, it's, it's going to be pretty average, probably for mages. Recommended imbuements, all standard, nothing special. Uh, prioritizing physical protection followed by earth protection. Uh, but as the place is pretty easy, I would consider, you know, distance and magic level. Uh, equipment to be more valuable than protection equipment anyway uh, with regards to supplies i use up about 800 great mana potions per hour about five ultimates per hour maybe about 1500 arrows and about 600 runes uh, you can actually use avalanches or great fireballs here uh, in fact for the route i'm going to show you fireballs would probably be a little bit better avalanches are better if you're going to be killing a lot of colosses and sp what are called spidris the big, the big, uh, fast ones, I think they're called, no, not Spidris. Yeah, it's Spidris. Maybe the Spidris. Um, because they are actually weaker, a little bit weaker to ice. Uh, but actually in the routes that I do, I skip them because they have too much health for a level 150 Paladin. Uh, so I would actually recommend great fireballs here. Charms are NA, and the character you'll see in the video is level 163 RP, 120 distance skill, and 26 magic level, no praise, and no charms. Uh, now let's take a look at the most difficult part of the video. There's quite a few levels here to cover. Um, I hope you forgive me because this is going to be very difficult to draw on. Uh, but we're going to try, right? We're going to try, um, and we're going to use two collars. We're going to use a teal collar to show the way up, and we're going to choose a different collar to show the way down. So let's start with level zero. Uh, so usually on level zero, you're going to want to sort of do this this room here. So this will be your pull over here. Afterwards, you're going to go up to plus one. And on plus one, I sort of do a path like this. And I'll go up here to the stairs. I'm then going to end up on minus two, on plus two, sorry. And I'll take a little loop go up here clear this room i'll then go here you know clear and everything obviously i yeah, do do a little clear here and then head to plus three i think there'll be another pull somewhere around here on plus three uh i think you go up here uh you sort of do a big pull around here from what i remember then you kind of try to run through here and do a big pull like around here at that point you go up to plus four uh, and on plus four, from what I recall, I just do one little big pull somewhere around here. 
Uh, I don't think I do too much running around on plus four. You can do, of course, you can do the whole floor, but I think it's it's not really uh, necessary. Now let's take a different color just to see how we go back. Uh, so then, obviously, once you finish on plus four, you'll go back back down to plus three. Uh, you're gonna basically want to run back all the way quickly to plus two, and only on plus two you're probably gonna start getting the respawn back. So again, you'll you'll kill here. And you'll go back here, maybe you'll go to this room to clear, go back here, up here to clear, and again, back down to plus one. Uh, here on plus one, I'll usually go the other way, so I'll go south and like clear this room, uh, go through here, clear this room, and down to level zero. And again, on zero, I will go to this big room, clear it, and restart and go to plus one, following the teal way. Uh, so that's that. Uh, I have to say, I can see that it looks pretty bad with the drawings, but it was really hard to draw over these small little floors, uh, and there's like five photos. So I hope you 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 figured out what I'm doing, uh, and I hope you enjoyed this place as much as I did. I think I really like Hive uh, in general, both Hive East, Hive West, Hive Surface. I think they're all you know quite nice uh, places. I like the climate here, so I definitely recommend. It. I think it's pretty fun. Uh, I'm now going to show you a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. Thank you very much, guys, for all of your support. And afterwards, I'll play you the video from the hunt. So I hope you enjoyed that. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.